Bonnie Fashions will be able to move into the new showrooms on Ocean Drive by the end of the week, Antonio. Right, Macy? Yeah, that's what we're shooting for, Dad. Assuming, of course, that Lucas has locked down the suppliers. And where is Lucas? He's probably working on his tan. Bobby and he are coming back from the Keys soon. Hey, Antonio, all these pretty models always walking around in their underwears. Let's uh, make the old heart race, huh? Couture Bustier? I don't design underwear. Sorry. Antonio, lighten up, my friend. Lighten up. Today is your day. You're the envy of South Beach. Martin, Avanti was a hot couturier house before Devon took over. It still is. We just have to think a little more mainstream. No, no, TNA is the ticket. Hey, Celine, let me call. Look at Victoria's Secret. Now, that's a success story, man. Victoria's Secret? Yeah. Mark if I. I have a reputation. So does Devon. We only back winners. That's why we bought Avanti. We'll grow together. I mean, look at all this publicity. Which and... hopefully will steamroll after we announce the acquisition at the end of the show. Lucas will make sure of that. That's a game plan, Dad, but he might have to come into the office once in a while. He has a point, Martin. Now, Lucas is a little green, but he's a Devon. He'll pull his own weight. No, 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 no. No, aspetta. Uh, 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 now, where is he? Where is your prodigal son? Uh, Spend more time in Key West. Maybe next time I won't be so shy. <sighs> Promises, promise. You know, I'd love to take all the credit, but I did have some help. <clears throat> what can I say? Inspired by beautiful things. Those guys aren't that considerate. Do all the girls get the royal treatment? Roses, champagne, caviar. Nope. Only the special ones. Cute and charming. If you tell me you're wealthy, I just might have to propose. Really? What if I told you I'm just a working class Joe? You still find me so irresistible? You're not an impulsive buyer. But what if I don't find anything to wear? Lindy, you have three closets full of nothing to wear. Hello, Elena. This is a pool party. My party. The entire senior class is going to be there. So wear a bikini. It is a pool party. Well, yeah, which is why I can't wear just any bikini. I need hot. I need sexy. I need that. A little bear. Exactly. And that, Elena, is what makes little boys want to become men. Come on. What's this? Nothing. It's just a present. Elena, a Gap t-shirt is nothing. A gift from traffic is something major. Have you been holding out on me? Just give me. Fine, whatever. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who gave this to you. Jimmy Ray, OK? Jimmy Ray gave that to you?
ta lektioner med Alex. Mm. Jag sticker över till labbet. Jag kanske kan övertala pappa och äta middag med mig. Det finns mat i kylen till er. Det räcker till Nils också. Kan du säga det till dem? Jag tycker att jag ska synna lite grann här. Ja, inte om du vill ha det. Säg istället att du tycker att den sitter åt för mycket. Okej. Okay. Jag tycker att den sitter åt för mycket. Jag tycker inte jag. Men varför frågar du mig då? Kom igen mamma, börjar du bråka om det här också? Jag orkar inte. Du är väldigt snygg i den här Köpte du för något speciellt tillfälle eller? Nej. Jag eh, tänkte att kommer ni med mig. Jag har bestämt att följa med pappa på hans promotionresa. Den där Millennium Green, den är nästa månad eller hur? Jag trodde faktiskt att vi hade en överenskommelse. Innan du gör någonting annat ska du gå klart till universitetet. Nu blir det inte så. Jag är myndig och gör precis som jag vill. Säger du så här för att jävlas med mig eller? Kom igen mamma, allting handlar inte om dig. Jag vill åka till Miami och jag vill bli modell som fast i Charlotta. Ja, men det är väl knappast någonting att sträva efter. Hon lämnade familjen och blev rik och berömd och det är precis vad jag tänker göra för det passar mig perfekt. Hon är ingen att se upp till, okej? Okay? Är det inte att du nämner hennes namn? Inte så länge du bor här. Chrissy, jag tänker inte låta dig förstöra ditt liv. Men det är mitt liv, mamma. Du kan inte tvinga mig att stanna kvar här, det vet du. I can't force Lucas to run about today. Oh, you're just hot under the collar because I put him in charge. Come on, Dad. He's never even expressed any interest in the company. Because he's never had any real experience like you and Bobby. But that's going to change. I expect both of you to show him the ropes. Understood? Hey, Allie. How you doing? Give me a little rope. I'll show him something. Yeah, cut it out, Mason. I'm just kidding. Hey, Allie, you should really take care of that cold, honey. Yeah, cold, man. Look, get her something for that. I can't have my model sniffling down the runway. Look, this is not a contest, Macy. I need to get a real synergy going between the divisions. Look, I'm doing my part with the modeling agency. Do me a favor. Go to the pharmacy and get some cold medicine for Allie, please. Thank you, sweetie. One day, you boys will be running this company. And I'm here for you, Devin. Whatever you need. What I need is for all three divisions of Devon to produce for this millennia promotion. I just signed Gretchen Broom. There were five other agencies after her. Good. That's what I want to hear. Bobby will do the same with the cosmetics division. Not with Soleil, he won't. Lucas with the fashion. I think after the show, I want us all to sit down and go over the joint marketing plan. <laughs> you got a problem with that, huh? No, no, not at all. I'm just, you know, hoping Lucas even shows up for his division's first fashion show, that's all. Guys like you don't usually stay past morning coffee. I hate coffee. Mm. But you, on the other hand, I like. Mm, the next time I'm in town, I will definitely... Your call. <laughs> Which doesn't diminish the experience one little bit. Ooh, he has a way with words. I'll bet you went to some very proper schools, too. <sighs> Got kicked out of a couple. Are you married? No. Have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. No strings, no commitments? I think I'm allergic. Ever been in love? <sighs> Always and often. No, I'm being serious. What if I told you I was in love right now? <laughs> and all it took was gazing into those big, beautiful eyes. Nice try. Guys like you always fall the hardest. In love, the ever after kind. You know, the only fairy tale I ever liked was Peter Pan. Just haven't met the right girl yet. When you do, heartbreak hotel all the way. Ah, uh, saved by the proverbial bell. Heart doctor here. Hey, Bobby. What? <laughs> Chill out, man, will ya? 
I'll be down in five. Okay. All right. Bye. <sighs> Karen, I gotta go. <laughs> Baby, I can't. Mm. Baby, I gotta be in Miami. Open it already. You know I can't stand suspense. Gosh, you were busier this summer than I thought. So, since when are you and Superstud an item? We're just friends, Lindsay. <sighs> Get over it, Elena. I mean, I know you're fabulous and all, but Jimmy Ray is 25. Like, one of the gods of South Beach 25. Whatever, Lindy. Look, guys like that don't have 18-year-old friends who are girls. I've known Jimmy Ray all my life. He's like my brother. Yesterday was feast day. It's like a big thing for Latinos. He was just being nice. Whatever. Hey, if you don't want him. Uh, yeah, and Dylan will be totally OK with that. What's with the look? I have no idea what you mean. You and Dylan, you're supposed to be in love. That was before the summer. Look, we both agreed. No ties, no complications. Just summer. So what, no more Dylan? I didn't say that. I just had a lot of fun in London. The kind of fun I couldn't have had if Dylan and I were still together. Are you saying you don't love him anymore? Look, I'm 17. I have options. Options? You mean you have... Look, I'm young now, yeah. But 30's right around the corner. When I'm that old, I want to have had to experience something more. <laughs> yeah, Dylan's going to understand that. What, like he was a Boy Scout in Sweden all summer? Land of international bikini teams and walking underwear ads? I had fun too, no guilt. Besides, European guys drool over American girls. You met someone else. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Cavalry has arrived. Oh, what's up, ladies? Dylan, what's going on? <laughs> hey. All right, guys, summer's over. Senior year is here. We primed, are we psyched? We yeah, gotta tear man. up or what? Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Dylan, how about those Swedish chicks, man? Are they as tasty as they look? Yeah. So. You know it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> We're gonna go home for dinner. Yeah. I got involved with these specimens. Take a look, Will. Hmm. Yeah? The healing capabilities are visibly enhanced. After I treated it with your S57 serum. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew it. I'm gonna go run some more tests. No, no I'll do it. Go out. Have fun. Ask some beautiful woman to dinner. You mean like a date? Well, I vaguely remember one of those, circa 1997. Cynthia, the accountant. Oh, was it memorable, at least? 
No, but the fettuccine carbonara was. Okay, you're not laughing at my bad jokes. What's up, Stefan? Our samples from Brazil were damaged in shipping. Damn. Yeah. It's gonna mean another delay. <laughs> and it's gonna cost Devon Cosmetics big time. You start to sound more like a businessman than a scientist, Dr. O'Keefe. Uh, I am just as dedicated to millennia as you are. I just see the practical side and you don't. Because I am a scientist first and last. The bottom line is, if we don't get this baby out on time, we can kiss any more research funding for the burn clinic goodbye. We'll need an extension. No, Bobby already gave us one. Then you'll have to give us another one. Stefan, we're out of time. And we gotta deliver this baby as promised. All I care about is the integrity of this product. Not lining Martin Devon's pocket. If you feel differently, we'll say so now. Are you loyal to me or the Devons? I know there's no love lost between you and Will. Will? The guy's got an ego the size of the Grand Canyon. What do you want? Unlike yours. He's the one that sweet-talked Bobby into the Soleil fiasco in the first place. Now, if you had invested in that nail tattoo company that I brought you... Oh, so that's the corporate image you see Devon Cosmetics projecting. Well, what do you want, Dave? Prestige or profits? I don't see them as being mutually exclusive. Now, I stand behind Bobby and Will and Soleil. It's a damn fine product. Really? Gross sales for the quarter say differently. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Projects in this quarter okay. for the cosmetics. Okay, okay. Run some numbers, have a report on my desk by the end of the week. Has anyone heard from Lucas? Yeah, he and Bobby should be checking in any minute. Yeah. What about my Ruby Bustier? Lucas knows to pick it up from the jewelers on the way. Ah, that's my finale. The, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Showstopper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hadley has to try it on. It may need to be fitted. Relax. Antonio, have some wine. Have a lot of wine. I've got to go pick up Ann. Cut Lucas some slack, huh? It's his first show. Maybe you're cutting him too much slack. Then, what happens to Avanti, huh? Manny, my man. Didn't think a fashion show was your kind of gig? It's not. Meet me later, usual place. We have news that could affect our operation. Prettier and prettier every day. Thanks, I love it. Tell your mom I said hi, okay? You've got two minutes to tell me all about these European guys, or I'm leaving. Look, it's no big deal. Dylan is great and all. I just realized I had more options. And how do you think he'll feel about that? Well, I don't think he won any merit badges for celibacy. And besides, he wrote me two emails all summer. So what? He's a guy. It doesn't mean anything. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, Dylan. Check out your ball and chain. It's Macy. I think he might be into something really nasty. Oh, well, there's a shocker. Oh, did you tell Dad? I'm calling a board meeting next week. Oh, beautiful. I want to be there when you nail the skies. Oi, none of us put all the humor. No, I'm actually on very good humor. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's better at least. Can you see what we're going to do? No, I'm not going to. Jag ska till med min pappa. Häftigt va? Har du ett förhållande med Ann Devon? Har du det? Va? I want Martin Devon to know that despite his attempts to do so, Jack Hamilton will not be forgotten. He may be able to buy my mother, but he is not here by me. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I'm gonna show you what this puppy can really do. 
All right. You might want to buckle that seatbelt. 